Hello Pisces and welcome to Intuitive Energies. My name is Jane and I'm very happy that you're joining me today. I'm going to be doing a reading for you today, just a general reading. And uh, I'm really happy that um, you guys are doing me real solid here. You're subscribing to my channel, you're giving one of my videos all the love in the world and Surprisingly enough, it's called Love for Singles, and I think that was a great idea to do. I should do another one for you guys, um, but you know, I, I don't want to do too many of them because, I don't know, I think asking a spirit too many times the same question, you're just going to get the same answer. So I'm going to do a general reading here, and I'm going to see what spirit has to say for you. We're going to do, like, uh, what's currently going on. Uh, challenges, message from spirit, and the outcome. And uh, I'm going to use the Radiant Wise Tarot for you. I hope you're doing well. I appreciate it. Please subscribe if you haven't already. If this is not your first time, if you watch me a few times, oh, there you go. That one, that one came flipping out. And uh, yep. This is Friday night. By the time I post this, though, my live stream will be over. But you might want to go on uh, the Divinely Guided, if you didn't already go, channel. Because this is the Intuitive Energies. This is just for Pisces. I don't do reversals. So this is the... Okay, challenges is the Five of Pentacles. Oh, somebody's having a rough day, Pisces. But, you know, I believe it. Because I have a rough day, too. Okay. As I'm Pisces, and today was a rough day. It's hard living out there and then come here, because I really look forward to here. Okay. Oh, oh yeah. There's, there's a lot of, there's a lot of conflict here, Pisces. <laughs> oh. And there's cards falling out of my deck. I'm gonna go pick those up. All right. I'm going to pick from those in a minute. I'm just, uh, actually I should probably, this one I'm going to pick from, but this is not the deck that we're looking at today, so I'm just going to move that and get more comfortable here. You can probably see all my little lights in my hair. <laughs> all right, I'm going to move that a little bit this way so that you get more of the table, less of me, because it's all about you, Pisces. It is all about you. Let's make a little bit of room. Let's push these cards. This is a good tarot. I'm going to use them soon. I love this deck. It's one of my favorites. So I hope the lighting is okay. I think it is. I think I finally managed to get something that works. Unfortunately, the LED lighting didn't uh, do too much. All right, so I think I'm gonna do two cards spread, but I'm actually gonna use the other Rider weight to do it because I don't like using the same deck. I find that, uh, I don't know, I just find that it's, uh, it limits the cards that can come out. This is my original. I have two of those, and I actually have another one coming through. It's the one with the blue back. It should be here by next week. And I do really like this deck. It's funny because when I started doing readings, I really didn't like the Rider weight at all. I thought it was the weirdest looking deck I'd ever seen because I was working with a different deck. I was walk working with a Zerner Farber deck, and. I've done so since like 92, so to use these was a little weird for me, but um, yeah, I fell in love with them, I guess, because the energy is so strong with these, I guess they've been used by so many. I think these cards are like directly connected to spirit. <laughs> I don't think it matters who you are, you just touch one of these decks, it's like, tsh, there you go, spirit. Okay, so Pisces, let's see. Oh, okay. Okay, Pisces. What's going on with you right now? I have the two of swords here. 
which means that something is going on. Uh, I don't know. It's It feels like you're sitting there in defense of something, okay? Or just not able to make a decision. The reason I say that is because you've got the Page of Cups as a clarifier. And to me, when these two are together, I feel like there's an opportunity here that you're unable to make a choice on. You know that saying, you know, crap or get off the pot? I, I, I This is what I'm getting from these cards. It feels like um, there's an opportunity that's presented itself, but it's very new. Okay, it's something that's not anything that you're used to. It's something that that can be successful, okay, if you let it. But you're still a little bit in denial about it. You're still delaying it, and you are doing it, because you're the one putting up the swords, you're the one with the blindfolds, okay? And uh, if you see the moon there, everybody knows, moon is intuition, the moon is shining down on you, but it's not a full moon, it's like a crescent moon. So I think you're, you're, you're not, unsure if you're getting the signals right, that you should follow this, um, this idea. Okay, so that's what I'm getting for what's going on here. So that's your first row. Second row is your challenges, the Five of Pentacles. Oh, wow, okay. What came flying out, flying out, <laughs> rushing in, is the Knight of Swords. Of course he does, right? Okay. Yeah, your challenges is that you really want to rush into this opportunity. But you're afraid by taking it that you're going to feel left out of every other thing that you've worked on. Okay? Like, if you leave something behind to go for something new, you may be leaving something that's lucrative. This could be like a job or something. Okay, you decide to leave a job, it's a source of income, and then to follow this dream, and then this dream doesn't pan out. Like, you know, you're this one that's, you're, you're feeling like this is a hair, hair, what if it's a harebrained scheme, you know, and, and you follow this and it's not going to happen, and then um, you're going to be left out in the cold here with, uh, you know, literally because you won't have any money and no job and you know so this is what you're dealing with right now I sense fear and you don't want to alienate people um, yeah this is what I'm sensing right now so there's a lot of like I said this is a difficult reading today because we're Friday you know Maybe some of you have been working at your job all week and you're thinking to yourself, ah, oh, you know, crap all I didn't really, you know, I really wish I could, but I need my job or I need this, this nine to fiver, you know, even though opportunity's knocking and something really cool might be coming in, I'm feeling like, oh, I don't think I can do it, okay? So... The Ace of Cups came out, but this is a message from Spirit, okay? Spirit is telling you to take the chance, okay? It's telling you to end. End the situation that no longer serves you. And the Ace of Cups, my favorite card, and the one that I always... This is... I identify with this card the same way every single time. Spirit knows this, that's why they give me this card for this explanation. This Ace of Cups is a renewable source. Look at it. It's like that fountain that keeps giving. The water keeps coming out. Unlike our planet uh, that may eventually run out of water, this card does not. So it means a renewable source of greatness that's coming your way. Okay? But Spirit is saying, in order for you to take part in it, you got to end and let go of things that no longer serve you. Okay? 
Now, I'm not saying to go quit your job. I would never tell you that. Oh, my God. Because I won't. I won't quit mine. But Spirit tells me this every, I don't know, second day. They tell me to, you know, take the leap. I'm surprised we don't have the magician here, but God knows he may come out yet. Um, so, this is it, right? This is like a general reading. So let's see. Let's see what else comes out here. Your outcome is the seven. There you go. The seven of pentacles. Oh. Okay. So, regardless of what you're doing, the outcome is is that the great opportunity is going to come. And you're going to work at it slowly, okay? The thing is that it might end up being a little longer than you thought because you're not leaving the situation you're in to just jump in. So in other words, it's going to take a little longer. It's going to take a little bit more tweaking. But eventually success will be yours because the ace is definitely a, a successful new venture. Okay? So... Okay, Pisces, you can you can actually put this in any way, shape, or form that you want. If you want to use it in a way that's uh, like non-career related, maybe this is relationship related, um, maybe this is spiritual related, you know, like, I don't know. Twist it in the way that you need. Make it resonate the way that you need to resonate in your life. Because this is the only way it's going to. I once asked Spirit, like, how the heck can all, like, one reading resonate with so many Pisces? I said, it's almost unbelievable, you know? Like, even myself, I have a hard time with it. And basically what they told me is that You'll do one reading and you'll think, just like the painter who paints a painting, okay, you will paint it with one thing in mind as the painter, but everybody who sees it after will pull something different that resonates within themselves. So, there you go. That's how these resonate. So pull out of this whatever you like. As a reader, I guess I should read more generally, but this is my Pisces channel, and I'm, I don't know, I'm reading it the way I feel, <laughs> I feel like it. Let's see what the Oracle cards have for us today, Pisces, on this Friday, on this rainy fall Friday. <laughs> Stand still. There you go. We are at a standstill about deciding our future, our new future. Of course we are. But you know, in the standstill, there's also something to be learned. Okay? If you look at this card, even when you're not moving forward, specifically with plans, that maybe spirit is trying to, you know, push you in the right direction, you're still learning. Because you might get fed up enough one day to say, to hell with this, okay? Just don't wait too long. Don't have your soul crushed before you decide to move on, okay? Nothing's worth that, not even a job, okay? You need, you need to keep your soul sane. I'm gonna pull another one. Come on, give me something a little more, less dramatic, okay? Because this, this feels a little bit like a bummer tonight. I mean, we had such a great love reading, and, and you know, I'm going on a live stream there any minute now, and I really would love to have, like, more of a positive, uplifting energy for Pisces. Please, Spirit, something, something, something good. <laughs> mm. Oh well, I tried. Solitude. So maybe this weekend, Pisces, you want to take a bit of time for yourselves. You know, lean back, get a bit of solitude. But you know, this is not a bad looking card. Look at that. In the solitude, you get insight. Okay? Again, you get a little more insight. Maybe you just need time to decompress. 
and decompress. No D at the end, decompress. You just need time to chill. And that's okay too. I mean, everybody should get that time. Everybody should get a chance to take care of themselves and just relax. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Please like, share, subscribe, click that notification bell. To all. Thank you for everybody who has been subscribing. This is so cool. I appreciate so much. And, uh, yeah. Take good care of yourself. Have a great evening. And I will see you tomorrow when I'm all rested and it's a beautiful Saturday and I have more time. I will we'll, we'll come back and have some fun Pisces, okay? So, I'll see you then. Take care.